Uh, Hackensack Riverkeeper to Baykeeper. I'm coming through the mooring field now. I'll be uh, back on station over there in a few Less minutes. Less than a year ago, environmentalists were installing oyster beds in the waters of the Raritan Bay. Today, they were yanking them out. These are contaminated waters. The idea of the Oyster Restoration Project was to reintroduce a species that naturally cleans the water. One oyster can filter between 30 and 50 gallons of water a day. Ironically, it's the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection that's ordered the end to this experiment. And environmentalists are livid. I feel like I fell through a rabbit hole because it just, no one understands it. And I, and literally, if I don't comply, I'm placing my environmental nonprofit organization at risk of getting uh, penalties, financial damages. So why has the NJDEP turned its wrath on these oysters? The answer lies in the state's $790 million shellfish industry and the DEP's limited resources. We know that people are out there poaching. We catch poachers all the time. These shellfish were put in contaminated waters as a part of their research. Now that you have contaminated waters with shellfish and the shellfish are becoming market size, you really need to step up patrols to make sure that nothing can go wrong. And right now the department does not have the resources to patrol the waters to the degree to protect public health. But that explanation doesn't sit well with environmentalists. They blame the DEP for failing to clean the area's waters. It's a travesty is what it is. You know, when you have a state agency whose primary mission is to protect and restore the environment, and they put the brakes on projects that were designed to protect and restore the environment, it's, it's, like, it's like them telling you that they don't want to do their job. They are 600 million clams in this bay, any one of which a person could eat and do eat raw and get just as sick as they would from eating those oysters. So how is removing I think it turns out to be a five thousandth of one percent of the shellfish from Raritan Bay going to keep anyone safe. It's the point of the oysters is to filter out pollutants, so you're really concentrating the pollutants inside the oysters. Again, good thing for the environment, bad thing when somebody goes to eat them. Somebody eats bad seafood from our waters, it could absolutely harm many small businesses. Would you like to indulge? Okay, now who is going to indulge in something like this? And this is what they want us to kill. These are reef falls, yeah. This is supposed to create a structure on the bottom so that the benthic habitat will have structure that's missing to live in. Oysters were a cultural and historic significance, a keystone species in, the, um, in this estuary. They're on the verge of extinction. We do not have a sustainable population. The oysters will be stored briefly in hopes that an agreement can be reached for a new location. If there's no agreement, the oysters will be thrown in the trash. It's a waste. What a waste of time and effort. And I can't even say money because most of the people who have been doing this work have been volunteers. And that's even, it's a discouragement to volunteers. Why bother?